Hi, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today, in this video, we'll learn exceptions function. We have three exception functions: exception detail, exception stage, and exception type. Exception details will give you the re detail of the exceptions. Exception stage will give you the name of the stage from where you are getting this exception. Exception type will give you the type of exception we are getting. So we'll see one by one. We'll also see few examples to understand these functions. We have one more that is not a function, but it has the types of exceptions. So once we'll use the exception type function, we'll be getting exceptions from here. So let me first go to this centric data solutions process. In this one, after recover stage, we have taken a multi calc stage where we are storing all this. We, we have taken exception type as a function here, which is this one exception type, exception detail and exception stage. So these functions we have used and we are storing in a data item. Now after getting exception, we will be storing this one. If we are getting exception, then in that case we will able to store these data, these details in a data item and this can be used for handling exception or for reporting purpose. So handling exception means based on the type. So if it is business exception, you will skip that part or like you will just mark as a complete or something like that you will do. If it is system exception, so you will handle that one. And based on the exception stage, like from which stage we are getting exception. So we will able to identify the stage and then we can go directly and find that stage name uh, that and then we can fix that and from the exception details we will have the complete details of the exception and based on the details we can find out and we can fix that exception we can handle that exep exceptions. Now let me start here let me increase the debug speed and first I will show you here right click set next stage it will add items to queue first now it's going to launch and login now we are now going to go to orders menu so in the go to orders menu let me close that and let me step over now we clicked on step over so we are getting this error message you can see here we are getting this error message now we have the recover stage so it will catch this exception and here it will go to the exception stage now if you see in the exception stage we have selected this option that is preserve the type and detail of the current exceptions so it will take the same exception which which occurred here from this uh, excellent stage right and it will not have a customized error message it will have the same as the error occurred here now it will come to the main and then here in the global recover and you can see now from here from the exception details we have taken all the functions exception type exception details and exception stage so exception type is internal here we have exception stage the name is orders menu exception so it says that that we have an exception in this stage where the stage name is orders menu exception so we'll go to the orders menu and our exception is here an exception stage name is orders menu exception so it, you will get this name of this exception stage now if you see here in the exception details we are getting the exception message that we got on that exception uh, on that exception stage so based on this we can see fail to perform a step one click on orders button on page go to orders because not connected it means that application was not opened that was not connected that's why we got an error now you you saw that here we have exception type internal orders menu exception stage and then this is the exception now let's see i want to throw an customized exceptions so i will go here double click on that and i will uncheck that and here i want to now throw this exception as a system exception instead of internal so i will put here as a failed to click click on order here now click ok 
now right click set next stage right click run to this stage now this time you will see here instead of getting internal error message we will be getting system exception let me close that and let me step over so i am getting coming here recover and now you can see the error message is same error message we are getting from here from this action stage now we have orders menu exceptions now what will happen once i will click on next it will come here and now you see here in the exception details it will store all the value here now in the exception type you can see our exception type is system exception because which is uh, because we have set here as a system exception now in the exception stage same orders menu exceptions because it is coming from this one now the detail is fail to click on order because if you see here we put the exception detail as a fail to click on order so this detail this is the detail that we are getting and this is the type we are getting by using this exception type and exception detail now let me show you the business exception so let's say let me uh, right click set next stage and uh, run to this step run to this stage step here we have a condition if quantity is greater than 99 then we'll throw a business exception so the first one because we don't have quantity greater than 99 so it's going to know and then then it will process that click on step out now this order has been processed now coming to the next one mark completed get next item and this time we have item which is greater than 99 so here we are throwing an exception and exception type is business exception and this is the exception message so using exception type function will be getting this using exception detail we will be getting this detail now here in the recover because we got an exception and that is a basically you business exception that is not system but any type of exception that that is occurred here will be recovered here and then whatever action we are going to take we can take it here so here i have taken these functions so you'll see here we have exception type business exception exception stage quantity greater than 99 which you can see here quantity 99 greater than 99 business exception so this name we are getting here and this is the exception that we are getting business exception hyphen order quantity is greater than 99 which you can compare here this value we are getting now we have resume and after that we have handle exceptions so based on the business or system exception based on the type you can handle here so in the handle you will see here i have taken here a business exception so we are updating as a skipped status and marking business exception and if it is not business exception so for other things like if you have system exception or any other exceptions we are updating as a exception and marking item as a system exception like that now this is done right thank you